turned off the nice music. Nobody crank anything. <laughs> music, where are you? Shut it! <laughs> Yes, who did turn off the music, Globox? Hello once again, audience. I'm Ethan Air13, and welcome back to another episode of Rayman 3 Let's Play. Oh god, there's enemies. I got the shit at me, bros! <laughs> uh, old references. Okay, so last time, Globox got this goddamn, uh, one of these things, Black Lums, stuck inside of him. And uh, now we need to go to the doctors to get it removed. We need to get this cage in there. A new, another new mechanic, I guess. Not mechanic, but collect, collecting thing in the game that we need to do is uh, we need to save all the titsies. We need to release them from their cages because for some reason they're in cages in this game. I think they were in cages in the last game, Rayman 2. You know, one of the differences between this game and Rayman 2 is just the the amount of childlike wonder I think Rayman 2 had. It was a very childlike game, wasn't it? Like it felt it was very it was a very dark game, but it felt like you were the hero, you know, like you were as a kid playing it, it felt amazing. It was a magical game. You go fire up the barbecue. Yeah, the TTs say a lot of funny things in this game. And who who doesn't love funny dialogue? Uh, I, I I can't think of anyone who doesn't like funny dialogue. I like the fuddy dudley dialogue. Another one of these things in the, here in the corner. So uh, f funny fun fact uh, about this game. I was watching some videos of the original version of this game on YouTube, and this is the Xbox 360 version. The HD sort of revamped remake, I guess. And, uh, like, something with the dialogue in the original game is that when you hear characters talk in-game, they sound louder. And in this version, they sound quieter. I don't know if that's something with the settings of the game, but... I wonder, like, what's up with that? Some sort of differences with versions? So I'll have to look at that in a minute. Here, we got a new power-up! We're gonna call it the, the... The power... The power glove. Crappy power glove from the 90s. God. They're not even that good! They're not disguised as Globox, they're... Their their combat fatigues, as they called it from the the first episode. If you guys remember, that line delivery was really <laughs> dumb, <laughs> funny. Yeah, okay. Ooh, Andy's gonna start eating. Yeah, Andre's gonna start eating his uh, intestines at some point. Yeah. Alright, so, I really like the art style of this game. That's one thing I love about a Rayman, the Rayman games in general, just the, the art design, I love them. Another game I've, I haven't played any other Rayman games except for like this one and uh, Origins. Origins is a really great game, I really do recommend it. If, it sucks that... Origins isn't on like the newer game consoles because I, I wanted them to put that one on the newer consoles because that's the one I grew up playing. But no, instead we get Rayman Legends, the sequel, which is yeah, it's great and all, but I I want to play the original Rayman Origins. I want to play the. So I ended up re like rebuying it on 360. I had it on the the the. It was like different with the Wii version, but I like to call it the improved. Any game that has a Wii version, I like to call it the improved version because the Wii was always it was always lesser hardware. But everyone knows the reason they bought a Wii was so they could play GameCube games and motion control the Wii games. I mean, that was the main reason why the Wii sold so well when it came out. 
Then press the X button! But yeah. Video games are... Are... A f a f a f a fun. Hey, oh, I missed a bunch. Oh, man. But anyway, yeah, so, the Wii was like, as far as nostalgia games go for me, the real nostalgia I have for this specific game, though, is like, watching Let's Players play these games as I was growing up. That's, I don't know if that counts as actual nostalgia for a game, but I like to think it does. I do anyway, I do feel the nostalgia for this game. I... It was the let's play that made me want to play the game. An owl, that kind of hurt. That kind of hurt. Yeah, gunshots to the face, they kind of hurt, man. And that's a target with my... That's a, my face with a target on it. That's pretty hot. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. That's so hot. Piggy Banks! So, yeah... Rayman, I did play Rayman 2 one time when I was a kid, but it was like the iPhone version. There are a lot of different versions of Rayman 2, although I never really did, because it was like a, a demo of the game. You know, like a demo. I never really played that game. I, I, I Maybe I will one of these days play Rayman 2. But as, until then, probably not. <laughs> I don't know, it's... I can't really play old games like that. I'm just... something with me. I don't know what it is with me. It's probably because I grew up playing the, these types of games. Like, or at least games from my time. I grew up playing games from my time. And glow boxes... OH GOD NO! 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 I hate inflation. No! Ew, gross. All right, well, oh, piggy bank, piggy banks. Money! Free money! And health, health. But yeah, I watched a video of the original versions of this game on the. Xbox, three, uh, the original Xbox, GameCube, and uh, PS2. Uh, here's the funny thing: I own a PS2, but oh my god, are you kidding me? I own a PS2, but I don't own a GameCube, and I want to play. I have a Wii, an original Wii, and I want to play GameCube games, but I don't want to spend money on a, an original GameCube. I will at some point, but not not yet. Just not yet. <laughs> It, out of principle, just not yet. I don't want to buy a GameCube just yet. If I'm gonna buy a GameCube, I want it to be that Japan only spice orange one. Was that Japan only? God damn it, I can't make it. Got it right. Was the spice orange GameCube a Japan only? Someone answer that in the comments for me. Or I'll just search it up on the internet. I don't know. Damn it, what am I doing? Right, let's see if I can get over here as quickly as possible. Also, I, I really like games where, like, you, you're doing this sort of thing. You keep trying a thing. There we go. Now we can release the Titsy and we can go on our happy little way. And he gave me a green gem, so that was not a requirement. That was a if completion bonus. One. I nearly went the wrong way. Oh, there's gems down here. I gotta get these gems. I just have to, okay? I have to, and there's a thing right here, and I'm gonna go get the power up and get, yeah. I need, I need all the monies, okay? I just need all the monies. These are relatively short videos. And as a, I'm still not, I still don't consider myself very good at this commentating thing, so, like, as a commentator, I'm trying to fill in the gaps. Trying to fill in as much as possible, do as much as possible, I guess, I don't know. This is not a 100% playthrough, of course. 
You know, see all secrets like that. That gave us a thousand points, I think. I'm gonna go by. Look at this fire effect. Wow, you don't see that every day. Yeah, it's old games, like. Maybe I could play Mario 64. And maybe I can play, uh. Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I don't know. It's not that the games are old, it's just. I don't know. Dated, I guess? I don't know. So a lot of people say that Mario 64 ha hasn't aged at all. Like, it's aged very well. And it's a very good. Yeah, it's a very good platformer, but. I've, I have played it, and I can say that I, I just can't really... Well, maybe. It's been a while since I since I did that. There's a thing down there we can't get now. It's been a while since I since I played Mario 64. Like, I, I bought it off of the, the Wii U. People say the, uh, the Wii U sucks, and I'll be honest, kinda, yeah. But the Wii U had some really great games. So I don't know what you guys are talking about, I mean, they remade, uh, the Wind Waker, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, on the Wii U, one of my favorite Zelda games of all time, so. I gotta go finish my donut! I gotta go finish- is that what he said, finish my donut? Alright, got another, another power-up, the claw shot, whatever. Not the claw shot, or the... Was it called that? Was it called the claw shot in Zelda? The item? It was an item like that. Uh, I don't remember. This music. This game has some really good music in it. Yeah, this is some music I'd probably listen to on the daily basis, probably. Right, he's gonna give us another power-up, and there's something over here, I think, yeah. Just barely made it. Oh, you're supposed to... Like, those things right there, the red thing that just disappeared, you're supposed to sneak up on them. And, that's, and it gives you, like, points just like the, the one you stare at. It's supposed to give you some points. Oh, can we make this jump? There we go. Um, there's a thing... But you know what? I don't want to go down there, because I'll have to make it all the way back up if I go down there. See, you know, yeah, I'm just going to keep going. Go box, go home, you're drunk. Literally, quite literally, I mean he is drunk. <laughs> it's sneak attack here! And that's that's a target on my face. Pretty nice. Pretty hot. Oh, yeah! I'm gonna kill these guys here. You must die because you are the in-game enemy. And you were created in place here for me to destroy. Fire, can I get hit hurt by fire? Yes, I get hurt by fire. It was much funnier when you got hurt by fire in Mario Sunshine because Mario says, Mah! That's what he says. Really, that's what he says. Like, go, go look it up. Go watch, uh, go watch someone do a Let's Play of Mario Sunshine. I, I would do a Let's Play of Mario Sunshine, but I don't have a way of recording that, so... I don't know. Is there more to talk about there? I don't know. Ow, don't, don't you melee me. Don't melee me with your gun, with your rifle. So there's a, there's a thing up there. Get that. There we go. Yay! Two more, and we get, we get health. Okay. We get the super powerful fist, fisticuffs galore. Don't melee me. I melee you. Supposed to go over here and unlock this this gate over here with the face on it. it has a face on it. This game's pretty legit. But yeah, uh, comparing this version to the the original versions, there are a few differences. Like yeah, it's the same game, but like there's like. Some people say that this version is more glitchy. I don't know. Yeah, okay. 
More, more, uh, more, uh, drunken jokes, please. Alright, this is a mechanic, a sort of returning mechanic from the last game. Back in the N64 version, where it was a 2D model. Alright, so I guess that's, that's gonna be the end of this episode. I will see you guys later.